Hey guys, I'm Sarah. Every week I comb through hundreds of DIY videos preparing projects for our weekly maker show, Maker Break. Along the way, I find some good ones and some great ones. And right now, I'm gonna share them with you. This is Sarah's top five DIY Adirondack chairs. Number five is Will Prepared. Will brings us along on his adventure to build the fourth Adirondack chair in this series of builds using the Woodcraft template for Adirondack chairs with footstools. He talks you through what he's going to do and then gets into the actual build by sanding down the milled red cedar boards. Once everything was sanded, he laid out his templates and marked the boards, then cut out the rough shapes he needed on the bandsaw. Once he had all of his pieces cut out, it was time for sanding, again. Sanding is the worst, right? Am I? I'm not the only one that thinks that, right? Anyway, next was assembly. He started with the base of the chair, making sure to pre-drill all of the holes. And with each board he added, he made sure everything was perfectly spaced and level, and the chair came together beautifully. I really like these colors, too. Number four is Rogue Engineer. Jameson put a modern twist on the Adirondack chair and started off his project by cutting down all of his decking boards on his miter saw. He measured out the dimensions he needed for the proper angles for the legs and cut those, then cut the taper on the back of the legs, and then screwed all those pieces together. Next, he tackled the two back supports using his jigsaw to cut out the arcs for where the backrest will sit. Then he moves on to the arms and final assembly of the seat, back, and of course, the arms. This is awesome, and it's such a simple build that it can be done in about an hour. Well, I would probably take longer, but you could get it done in probably an hour. Great job, Jameson. Number three is Rustic Goose. Shane was asked to make an Adirondack chair slash bench slash cooler holder, and of course, he didn't back down from the challenge and knocked the request out of the park. Once he had a plan in place, he started cutting down the boards on the miter saw and carefully labeled each piece as he went to make sure they didn't get mixed up. Then he ripped the boards in half on the table saw. Next, using the templates he made, he then marks all of the boards to trim off the excess, sands everything down, and uses a router to round off those rough edges. Once he has all the pieces prepped and pre-drilled, he slowly but surely starts the assembly process, adds the cooler, mounts the lid to the top, and voila, a perfect summer seat for two. Number two is Jackman Works. Paul decided that a basic Adirondack chair was just not gonna cut it in his world, and he set out to build one that was a little extra. And by extra, I mean he added this sweet detail of an ottoman that can be stored away safely beneath the seat and out of sight. He gets started by grabbing some western red cedar, laying out his templates, and carefully marking the boards. Oh, and did I mention he only uses common handheld power tools for this? Yeah, cause he's cool like that. Following the templates, he gets busy cutting down the boards, sanding everything down, routing all of the edges, and pre-drilling the holes. He gets the entire chair assembled, then does this. But why? Why, Paul? Then he shows off the footrest that secretly fits under the seat. Because he's putting these outside, he sealed all of the ends with total boat epoxy, then finishes the entire piece with stain. Awesome job, Paul. Number one is Steve Ramsey. If you have not followed one of Steve's videos to build a project of your own yet, you should probably stop what you're doing, pick a project, and get making this weekend. There's even plenty of summer left that you could do one of these builds and use it. Mr. Ramsey preps all of his boards and shows you that you don't need a lot of tools for a project like this. Once he has the boards cut down, he starts putting all the pieces together. He uses a jigsaw to round off the tops of the boards for the seat back and for the arms, then sands them down. Honestly, my favorite part of this build is that there was a mess up, or I mean a character building exercise, and Steve walks you through how he fixed it. After final assembly, it was time for paint. If you're looking for a fun project to build this weekend, go check out his video and grab the plans from his description. That's it, I hope you guys liked my list, but of course, if you found a version of this project you think should have made the list, leave it in the comments below and I'll go check it out. 
All right, do me a favor and like this video. And if you have not already subscribed to Belts and Boxes, what are you waiting for? Go do that now and be sure to hit the bell so you don't miss any of our shows that come out during the week. You can catch me every Friday at 5 p.m. for the Power Tool Week in Review with Rob and every Saturday at 6 p.m. for our next episode of Make or Break. We'll see you then.